The incredible work of the AAN is felt far beyond American borders, and our next guest here in studio with us knows that firsthand. Dr. Ralph Josephowitz joins us now in studio to discuss neurology on a global scale. Such a pleasure to have you this morning. It's a real pleasure to be here. Well, you are speaking uh, at the presidential plenary this year. What are your key topics that you would like folks to take away? Well, I was speaking about this uh, program in medical education that I established between Yagalonian University and uh, in Krakow and the University of Rochester about 25 years ago. And I think the key things is the reason the program is so successful, and it includes student and faculty exchanges and education conferences, is because there are passionate advocates in both countries. Number two, it provides benefit to both countries. And number three, it's revenue neutral because each country basically supports it. How did this uh, partnership come about? Well, it started with my uh, Fulbright in 1992. I spent uh, five months in Krakow, Poland uh, on a Fulbright sabbatical uh, teaching neurology and English at Jagiellonian University School of Medicine. And the way that started is Krakow uh, and Rochester, New York are sister cities. And because of the sister city connection, uh, this all became established. And you've placed a lot of importance on education throughout your incredible career. Why is this uh, such an important topic for you? Why do you think it's so important for us to continue our education? Well, especially for physicians, we're always learning and the only way that we become good doctors is if we learn and if we teach our colleagues and teach our students and I really think it's one of the most important things we do. Doctor means teacher and physicians not only teach students and each other, they teach our patients. How would you describe the globalization of neurologic education? The world is small, <laughs> and uh, the future of American medical education is international medica uh, medical education. But also, we learn so much when we interact with our colleagues abroad. So that's the globalization. It's not only do we give, but we also receive. And so you travel to Krakow every year? Every year for 26 years. Incredible. You've certainly racked up the points. Mm -hmm. um, what do you hear from your colleagues there and from your students there about the, the world of neurology? What I've really been impressed with, especially when I was there last year on my second Fulbright, is the level of medical care and scientific knowledge, in, especially in neurology, is the same as uh, in the United States right now. So the world really is small, getting smaller by the day. Yes. All right. Well, we certainly appreciate all of your work within the neurology community, and we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much.